four down one to go folks and you know it's the one i thought would not show until well later in the clay's plans but hey here we are and you know what wickford yes take a bow as your tree does the two things i think every skill tree should do be fun and be fundamentally sound but that doesn't mean it's all sunshine and rainbows everyone as um we kind of have our first ever dump skills let's call them with braggy's blessings do they work absolutely and what do they do they give all battle spears more inspiration games when we use them that's nice the problem all battle spears get outshined much later in the game and honestly if you know what you're doing you can get outshined very early in the game too so good but they really only lead to the good stuff if you know what i mean the good stuff being the elden spear everyone okay this thing is honestly incredible i know we've been talking about the shield and we will again but Elden Spears on paper, electrical damage built in, dealing a lot of damage in Wickford's hands, which they're gonna do, but still pretty decent in other people's hands too, come with a unique special attack, can also be charged to give you built in 20% speed boost, 20 more damage each, and 50 more uses. Don't really think I need to say more, but I will, because guess what? It repairs itself if you land that special attack. It won't lose durability at all if you land said special attacks, and special attacks can be used to hunt the unhuntable and literally cross tiny gaps in the world. Uh-huh, it's crazy. But before we move on, I wanna point something out. You see how we are able to access the battle round skills without having going down the other tree? Yeah, don't listen to this little arrow thing. You only need one half of it. And the reason I'm bringing that up, more dump skills, everyone. Hard Helm 1, Hard Helm 2. Do they work? Absolutely. They give, arbitrarily, more durability to all of our battle helms in the game. And it is quite efficient. The problem is, I really highly doubt you're gonna notice it at all. And then, battle helms actually kinda get outclassed nowadays. Especially with what they lead to also being outclassed in the planar damage stuff. But, we'll get to that. Because commander's helms are interesting to me. I am saying that yes, they get outclassed by the things that we already have in this game the bright shade helmet and the dreadstone helmet and hell even even the void cloth like if, if you really want to go that far it all is better than this but on paper commander's helms are just so kind of cool man they're so cheap they are available immediately if you have this skill and you do get planar defense from them you do get the ability to uniquely recharge the thing but you do have to be on full health to do it you get knockback resistance which is unique but it only applies to two bosses you do get some extra stat increases with waterproofness and winter insulation you get more durability you get more uh damage protection so again, on paper, great. And you might look at them and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, these are awesome. But is it really worth five skill points? Especially when we're talking this baby, everyone, the battle rond. It is a shield that blocks all incoming damage, allows you to just stand there because it's armor and you can fight with it. <laughs> So that in and of itself, amazing. But of course, let's add the ability so we can block for longer. Let's add the ability that when you do block, you get more damage per hit. So it synergizes very nice within itself. And let's also buff the thing before it fully releases so that you actually lose less durability when you use it in combat. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. This and the Elden Spear absolutely hold up her entire tree because I'm not gonna lie to ya. That's kind of the only positives I've got. I really like the arsenal tree, but the problem is it is a point dump, everybody. I only have two more points to use. So if you want all of her new gear, that's incredibly expensive. Way too much, I say. I can choose to get an affinity or one of the fun little new things on the left there. And that's kind of it. Like there's no wiggle room but beard what do you do to the tree then it's simple folks you trim it you don't need four dump skills that will leave us if they want to keep this tree as it is two free skill slots for them to do anything with and you know what i would do i would give her a spear throwing skill mostly because it's in her own freaking animation for pete's sake but you can have all sorts of fun with this we'll get into some additional movement things later when we get to the rider tree but as we were saying her gear kind of just drops off so why not give her the one thing that really never goes away 
better inspiration mechanics and songs. We have a video on this channel from way back when, where we just sat down and had fun with modded and theorized battle songs. And I watched that before doing this video just to get some ideas, and I really shouldn't have. Because in doing so, I now look at the tree and I ask myself, and Clay, how on earth did we only end up with three, technically two new battle songs? Some of the ones in that one are so good. My favorite example of such is one song that turns the inspiration meter into her health. That is about the perfect taking RPG skill that anybody can ask for. And I know what you're saying. Hold up, Beard. We don't want this game to turn into an RPG. You're right. I don't. But it has because of Clay. So if you're going to go that route, do this. Because then it becomes fundamentally sound and actually really cool and fun and don't worry if you want me to expand on anything more i will this is just a very simple tree to get through so i don't want to keep you here long i do want to say though i commend clay for doing very unique unlock mechanics my problem though is that once you do them once you have them forever and that is kind of the issue with skill trees once you have all 15 insight points you never need to earn them again it doesn't matter if you start a new world or nothing doesn't matter if you switch characters nothing and these are the exact same i don't like that that's not how it should work but unfortunately clay backed themselves into a corner and that's how they work but i digress folks i believe fighting words should get way more credit than what it's getting because if you use it in certain situations it's honestly bonkers insane but that's just the problem it's very situational for those who don't recall her battle stingers are the ones you use once at a flat inspiration cost and that's done and done right but with this one they go on a 15 second cooldown meaning you can just spam them over and over and over again without having to wait without losing inspiration meaning you can keep your heart-wrenching ballads you can keep your battle ballads you can keep any songs you want active at any time while also constantly aggroing say the claws deer and or the bee queen grumbles it's pretty awesome but it is situational so i totally understand why people are maybe not looking at this one especially when this next one makes life way too easy to pass up the battle call canister it's simple not the simplest crap of course but it is a portable song carrier and for wickfrids it's a godsend and that's awesome that is kind of another thing these skill trees should be doing. Fun, fundamental, and quality of life. Not just adding something entirely new and then nerfing it out of existence so that nobody's gonna use it. AKA Encore, everybody. Encore is one of those new songs we were mentioning, and it's nice. You can sing people back to life, but only two at a time at the cost of 85 inspiration. Actually, I think it's 83, but whatever the case, it's way too freaking high. You are never going to use this in most cases. It's way too much to waste. Keep it, yes, but make it less expensive and make it three people per. That is a far better compromise, and that's going to be kind of what we talk about moving forward, especially with Mystic Resilience. Clay, you introduced planar mechanics, and you have done jack crap with them <laughs> you really really have planar should have gone further you have backed yourself into a corner with that stuff too we still have no idea what it's going to mean in the long run and you're giving us measly little increases five planar defense is nothing absolutely nothing you're just blocking five damage and i know you're supposed to combine it with their commander's helm but guess what commander's helm gets outclassed by the dreadstone helmet the bright shade helmet and the void gear so right you should have probably made it 10 she is supposed to be the tank after all and i get it maybe you don't want her to tank against the end game stuff but then why'd you make the end game stuff as it is but that is a whole nother conversation everybody as now it's time to talk to tree that absolutely nobody's gonna convince me of i don't care if it works i don't care if it makes sense on paper the rider tree should not exist oh wow domesticating 15 percent faster it works and is very nice but shouldn't be on wigfred oh wow we can ride them for 30 percent longer sweet i don't care <laughs> should it be doing it on wigfred that should just be a helpful thing that beefloes be expanded upon in another way in the game for all characters oh wow they made noble mount three give us inspiration passively Great, I can hit something twice and I have more inspiration than this thing gives me in five minutes. Oh wow, we have Noble, uh, noble Mount 4 or whatever, Battle Saddle. It's a thing that's actually worse than every saddle in the game and it's only sneaky because it gives a beefalo 40% protection. It's not great. You know what was better? When Noble Mount 3 actually gave planar damage to beefalo. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the only end game thing we got it's um yeah it's it's not good guys i gotta be honest with you and take a moment to think about this before you start going crazy in the comments the only reason you are defending this tree is because you got this tree if you didn't get this tree you wouldn't have thought about it guaranteed i get it that clay is trying to make a valkyrie riding in the battle but they did it in the worst freaking way possible this entire tree needed to be gutted from day one and i cannot believe that they gutted a part of this tree and they took out the best part of it and unfortunately it doesn't get any better because while these are two new battle songs they essentially do the exact same flipping thing we get 10% more less damage taken from Lunar and or Shadow Mobs and 5% more damage dealt to them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's not freaking worth it. <laughs> that is not freaking worth it when I can just save all of these points and complete anything else, the entire arsenal tree if I wanted, or get some of the fun headliner stuff. Yes, the entire right half of this tree is utter flipping garbage harsh words probably a little harsher than they need to be but hear me out everybody because this is why this tree kind of falters it is too expensive in and of itself and there's a reason why i chose this image to be on in the background as we were talking to wigford everybody because when it dropped people lost their minds a wigford refresh was coming what would it mean the fake valkyrie was gonna get some love and in the end she just got stuff and i'm here to ask is stuff enough when clay introduced inspiration to her all those years ago i was not fond of it mm -mm. i was a more stuff guy back then but as i continued to play through it it started to make so much more sense to her as a character a stage actor who is not a true valkyrie to have these temporary buffs that she can benefit from and those around her can also use to their advantage while still keeping her basic kit right which is why i believe more fun songs might have actually been enough yes adding the elden spear was a stroke of genius because it's leading to special attacks and if the special attacks lead some more special attacks in the future with some other things either built into the game itself or maybe a character refresh here or there character skill tree excuse me then fine that's a good step in the right direction but the main problem is still the same if all of that stuff gets outclassed by other stuff that is in the game itself then why do we care about the character specific stuff in the end it comes down to this you got to make the player actually want to spec into something and use it and have fun with it and if you don't do that yeah we'll do it because we like more stuff and we will probably make use of all of wickford's things but the moment we come back to the real life and realize wait a minute my dark sword is going to be way better in this situation you're going to use the damn dark sword right so that's why i believe the rider tree should have been replaced with like a viking longship tree that's fundamentally sound and probably could have been really fun to have something new on the water and yes it would have been tied to wickford alone but guess what it also would apply to anybody else in the game because viking launch ships work like that that's example number one number two honestly more battle songs i really don't think people would have complained i'm not saying drop 16 new battle songs but like three to four really interesting ones would have been really interesting in my opinion point number three ignored inspiration how we didn't just have basic skills that help with the inspiration meter be it slower draining or just more inspiration in general is kind of crazy especially when she has so many songs to use but we can only use three at one time still and for the expensive nature of this entire tree which ties into literally everything i have said and just said it's way too much everybody it's way too much to get to the fun stuff that i do like again i actually really like this tree minus the rider like it's an a plus in my opinion because i'm having fun with it that's my personal opinion however but it's too expensive it's way too expensive like i go down that arsenal tree because i want to get everything and i'm like i only have two points left what the hell do i do and you know folks i think i'm done i think i rambled way too much in this one i thought it was going to be way more straightforward than the willow one but i just kind of went off a little bit and you know uh it's christmas i don't got time for anything else so 
an unscripted video something like this put it out there we'll see what happens thanks for watching i do appreciate it happy holidays don't expect much until 2024 i imagine i really don't think i'm gonna get much out maybe a short or two but i do appreciate everything you guys have done thank you for a wonderful year i hope you guys are well and safe uh much love to all of those who support across all of our channels uh check the description below for all those channels i i really normally do not say that but we have been uh, expanding a lot more recently so check out the patreon check out our discord we have a merch store now if you want to check any of that out but again everyone well wishes i have a christmas bell to send us off thank you so much for watching bye bye